giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archived FIRST Robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Hello everyone, this is the first Israel recap uh, for this week for events uh, 3 and 4. I'm Itamar. I'm Roy. And I'm Lido. Uh, so let's start with uh, event number 3. Roy, uh, go ahead. So the Israel district came to Tel Aviv for uh, district event uh, number 3 and was dominated by the winners of the first uh, Israeli district. 33-38 uh, Falcons. They kept filling up the cargo ship, they kept climbing and uh, was seated first with a 2.5 uh, ranking score. Joined them in the first alliance, the world champion 30-75 had dream team from Hoda Sharon, winners of the second uh, district event. Uh, another uh, good cargo ship, good climber. Uh, this event was uh, full with uh, improving teams, like uh, white team, 32-11 from Yerucham, uh, ranked second, uh, and Onyxtronics, 22-31 from uh, Shoham. The two powerhouses, uh, Mizgav and Steampunk, uh, started uh, a bit slow, uh, finished the uh, first day around the 20th place, and uh, some uh, programming programming problems and mechanical problems, but in the second day uh, they improve a lot and uh, Steampunk was picked in the second alliance and uh, Misga was picked in the third alliance with uh, Onyxtronics. Uh, this finals, the playoffs were full of upsets uh, while the uh, seventh alliance of Galileo 30-34 uh, spiked 22-12 and uh, Phoenix 56-54 uh, uh, defeated the second alliance of uh, Steampunk and White Team. And the sixth alliance uh, defeated the third alliance, making it uh, one of the more uh, surprising uh, quarterfinals. Uh, at the finals, uh, the seventh alliance uh, met with the first alliance of uh, Falcons and the Rim, and in a very, very close and uh, full of upsets finals, the seventh alliance uh, beat uh, with a very consistent scoring from uh, Galileo and Spikes and with the uh, special uh, ramp from uh, Phoenix. Uh, also a very strong defense from the seventh alliance that uh, stopped the cargo play uh, from the uh, first alliance. So uh, congrats to Galileo for their first uh, ever banner. And congrats to Spikes uh, for the double. They took also the Chairman's Award for the second time. Uh, and for Phoenix, uh, as we spoke uh, last week, very strong team in the Israeli district with uh, smart uh, strategy, uh, build in their capabilities, uh, very consistent. Uh, team 56-14, Sikamor from Hulon, took the Engineering Inspiration Award for the first time. So uh, congrats to them as well. Uh, anything to add, uh, Lido or Itamar? I will add uh, a fun fact about uh, 2212 drivers. Um, a day before the first competition, one of the drivers of, of the Spikes 2212 broke his leg and they have only a, a one day to, practi to practice uh, another driver. Uh, so the backup driver showed uh, for the first for the first event, and everyone can can show the big difference. He um, he wasn't trained enough in the first event, but quickly he 
he make he make some magics and in the second event of the spikes he drive uh, phenomenal driving by by him um yeah uh, they became yeah. from unpicked in the second uh, Israel event to the first pick of the seven alliance and the winners of the event. Uh, so <laughs> great improve by training. It's event I'll remember. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll talk a bit about the fourth event. Uh, so the fourth event was a very, very strong event. Uh, one of the toughest each year in Israel. Um, so the quads were basically dominated like the first event by Orbit 6090, uh, followed by a consistent climber Bumblebee 3339. Uh, um, other than that, the, the rest of the table was kind of always uh, with ups and downs. Um, at the alliance selection, Orbit uh, picked uh, 2630 Thunderbolts, uh, a great team. Bumblebee put, picked uh, EXO 7039, uh, and they went on to the finals. Uh, the first quarter finals was, were very hard for Orbit, as uh, they, were, they were up against a very, very strong defense uh, from uh, 6740. Uh, G3, um, one of the best defense bot I've seen, I think, in, in my entire first career. I mean, not that long, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, very strong for the second event in a row. Mm -hmm. um, once they were uh, in the semis, uh, the alliance of Orbit, uh, Thunderbolts, and 4320, the Jokers, lost to uh, the fourth alliance led by uh, 1937 Elysium, uh, 5987 Galaxia, and 4590 uh, Greenblades, uh, which went on to the finals to face against uh, Bumblebee and Exo and the great RoboActive. Um, the Alliance of Elysium won the finals and took their first banner this year. Um, uh, for chairmen, uh, Bumblebee got Bumblebee won for the second time. Uh, EI uh, was won by uh, MA 5951. Uh, well deserved, so congrats. <laughs> um, Yes, I'm not told uh, this event was full with a lot of uh, strong defense. As all events in the Israeli district, but especially this event, that make uh, strong, very strong attack robots like uh, EXO, like Orbit, much weaker and uh, make this competition uh, much closer. And I think it's very typical for uh, deep space at all the events. Uh, when you play defense with no safe zones, can bring down a lot of uh, good robots. Yeah, I, I think people don't really understand this, especially people who are not in Israel, how much this game is violent. I mean, just look at the games from our events and see, I mean, the defense is just a huge part of this game this year. And I, I hope uh, the Americans uh, will, ha will handle it uh, in Detroit. Um, defense is going to be an extremely important part of this game. Uh, that's it, I think. And yeah, and now we can uh, watch a, a Thunderbolt 20C30 from Amic Heffer as we meet them in the fourth uh, district event. Hello, I'm Itamar and I'm in the first Israel district with Naomi and Adar from 2630 Thunderbolts uh, from Emek Hefer. Uh, Naomi, explain me a bit about your elevator. And Okay, so we have an elevator with, with an arm and a gripper. Uh, it, has, uh, it can go in many directions, so the arm can go all the way back and then the gripper goes backwards. This way we can, uh, we can 
throw the balls and the discs in both directions and reach all the heights that we need to reach on the field. Uh, the gripper also goes 90 degrees in each side, so that that's like a 360 degree uh, avail that it's available for us to to throw all the game pieces. Uh, in addition, we do we have automations for the arm, the gripper, and the lift, so that that the drivers don't have a lot of work operating them. So we actually have a, a momentum uh, calculation on the arm so that, so that it stops at every angle and uh, everything ca can reach all of the different positions in one press of a button from the driver. Sounds excellent. Uh, Adar, explain about your, uh, a bit about your collection and uh, climbing system. Okay, so I'll start about the climbing. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see, but we have at the bottom of the robot uh, an aluminum C-shaped, and it's connected to a gear in the back of the robot. And what we do, we actually lift the the front of the robot like this, and then we go, we drive to the, and then we drive to the step, and the first wheel is touching it, and then we start the roads, uh, which push the back of the, ro the robot uh, to the platform, and we can drive straight up to the... Uh, yeah, sorry. And the collection... And the collecting system... And the collect collecting system here uh, is opening with two pistons, and with this Omni and Colson wheels, we can collect the ball straight into the gripper, which opens to the ball mode and a gear mode. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck at the competition. Before introducing this week top 10, uh, I will mention 32-11, the white team from Yerucham that almost got in. They were only one point behind, um, and and now we can introduce the top ten. Uh, the tenth seed is 33-16, Debak from Tel Aviv. Um, so after having some issues in event uh, two finals, Debak recovered and continued to be a real cargo uh, threat. Um, they keep playing hard and score. Uh, first uh, cargo and into the cargo ship. Um, this this event they eliminated in the quarterfinals, but kept uh, playing a solid, solid um, score and cargo into the cargo ship. Uh, yeah, so debug again playing very good, very good uh, hatch panel flow pickup. Uh, they're a bit short in the climbing, like they were one of the only teams from the top of the table who don't climb to second or third level. So it might uh, be a problem for them in the DCMP, but they're definitely one of the top uh, cargo threats. And with a bit more driver practice, uh, they can make their uh, very uh, unique uh, hatch panel system work and even go higher in the rankings. I think their um, hatches floor intake is better than their um, feeder intake. Um, I remember a, a few um, few hatches they placed after picking up from the floor, but I don't know if they even try to to acquire disc from the the human station. The, the use the. Yeah, they use the same system for both. And okay, so, so so while they're trying to get, to acquire the disk from the the floor, they do it much much more efficient. Yeah. Um, let's move to our ninth place, seventy thirty nine XO for Madassa Neurim. Okay, so EXO played in the fourth event, uh, ranked 11, and picked by the second alliance, by Bumblebee. Um, they are a second year team, and yet they are one of the strongest teams in Israel. Um, they built an amazing robot this year, and uh, although they had some uh, problems at their first event, uh, this event they played 
great. Uh, a bit lacking on the climbing part, but in the end it seemed to work at least for the second level. Um, a very strong cargo bot, uh, both to the to the rocket and the cargo ship. Uh, excellent strategy. Um, I just think it, it's amazing to see a second year team that performs that well. Uh, yeah, they're uh, really strong. Even last year in the rookie year, they uh, qualified for the champs uh, only by uh, the district points, no by the rookie all star. So very special to see it in uh, Israel and even uh, improve for this year. So in the first event, I saw a very impressive looking robot that didn't perform as well as I thought it will, um, but they made made a huge uh, jump and we saw a, a very big improvement in the fourth event. Uh, a really m major improvement by EXO. Um, and let's move to our eighth seed in this week. 1574, Miss Car for Miss Gab. So Miss Car, one of the powerhouses uh, in Israel, uh, first of all, let's see what uh, they had to say when we meet them in the third Israel event. Hi, I'm Itamar and I'm in the first Israel district with Tael and Noga from Miskar 1574. Uh, Noga, explain me a bit about the idea behind your robot. So basically we wanted to create an arm because our team really likes arms and we thought it was the best idea to create a double-sided robot to reach all of the levels in the rocket. <laughs> the arm is divided into three parts, the bottom arm, the upper arm, and the intake. We have a double-sided intake, which is basically two coltons, two mechanoms, and the duct behind the intake that can take the hatch, the hatch panel. Okay, excellent. Tael, uh, explain me about how, uh, how do you climb? Uh, we climb using two actuators and uh, the arm itself. The intake on the other side of the intake, it has two callsons, which are moved by the same um, motor that moves the intake itself. And then we move those callson wheels and push the actuators up while driving forward. Okay, so I understand there's also a special uh, community event that you are doing each year. Noga, can you explain more about that? Of course, the Robotic F event is a festival we actually <laughs> we actually create every year, and it's a meet, it's a gathering for all of our community to join and learn about robotics and science and technology. And basically, the event exposes kids to STEM. Um, this year, this year we had 2,600 vi visitors. Yeah and we hope to expand it every year. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much and good luck in the competitions. Uh, okay, so as, uh, as you saw, uh, Miss Cower with a very special uh, arm. Uh, they can uh, climb, they can score hatches, they can score cargo. They're also uh, one of uh, the only teams who fill out uh, the rocket uh, with Steampunk uh, 1577 uh, and Orbit to dominate uh, the rockets uh, in Israel. Uh, Miskar had some uh, problems in the third event and uh, started uh, really slow, but uh, as the, in the second day they improve a lot, their climbing uh, starts working, and I think uh, as, uh, we know them as a very strong team, we can accept uh, to be one of the top five uh, in the DCMP, and I will be very surprised not to see them a threat uh, on the, this, the district championship. So, yeah, Miss Car, a very special arm, very uh, consistent climbing, and I think they can uh, threat uh, as, at the district uh, championship. As you said, after an inconsistent start, uh... We saw in the end of the qualification matches, uh, together with 1577 Steampunk against 6741 the Space Monkeys, uh, they set their only unicorn match uh, in 
event three by getting all four AP in qualification match 55. And our seventh rank in this week is 1937 Elysium for Maccabi Marut. Uh, so Elysium is one of the most efficient cargo specialists uh, that play in Israel this year. Uh, and they gave another solid tournament uh, and as and end as the win of, of, of event four, as as you said before. Um, after them we got in the sixth uh, spot. You want to say to add something yeah, about yeah. the lithium? Yeah. Uh, just uh, point out a very uh, special sandstorm uh, strategy from Elysium. Uh, they actually don't have a uh, floor uh, cargo pickup. They pick up the cargo only from the other stations. So in their sandstorm, they can uh, put one hatch uh, in the front, the, the center uh, cargo, uh, in the center in the of the cargo ship, and then they wait to the ball from the second uh, center cargo ship place to fall down, and they pick up it from the cargo ship. What shorter the first cycle in like to three or four seconds. Okay, and for six spots this week, 26.30, the Thunderbolts from M. Kreffel. So uh, Thunderbolts, uh, they started a bit slow in the second district event. We talked about them last week, uh, improving a lot and uh, being the finalist of the event. They kept improving and came very strong in the fourth uh, Israeli district event. Uh, they were ranked fifth and were picked by Orbit uh, 1690 to the first alliance. They have one of the most uh, complex uh, mechanical robots, as you saw earlier. They can move sideways, they can uh, do 180. Uh, very uh, unique and uh, special uh, arm. Uh, they're very, very uh, fast cycler and uh, will keep be a threat in the district championship. So I just want to add that uh, Thunderbolt's driver is one of the best drivers I've saw this year. Uh, they perform very well, even with defense. Uh, they climb very well to the second level, which is a great match for uh, a third climber, uh, a third level climber team. Um, just glad to see the, the improvement they had since uh, the, the previous event. And let's get to the top five Israeli teams for this week. Our fifth rank is 30-75 Hadrim team from Hodesharon. So after winning event two, Hadrim team make another solid performance and finish at event three finalist. Uh, in my opinion, if they will speed up their climbing time and the time it took the driver to align and acquire hatches from the feeder, they are one of the contenders, contenders to play in the late playoffs game of the Israeli District Championship. Mm -hmm. um, and for the fourth place, 1577, Steampunk from Ranana. Uh, so Steampunk uh, got to the second alliance in their third event. Uh, they played very well. Um, they have one of the fastest robots we've seen this year, uh, an excellent driver, great ball mechanism. Um, the hatches mechanism, they played with a new hatch mechanism uh, that performed better than the last one. Uh, but still, I think there are some improvements to do. Um, but other than that, uh, a, very, a great climb. I mean, just a great robot. Yeah, uh, for the second uh, event in a row, they're in the, uh, one of the top alliances. Uh, this time they came out a bit short and uh, they, uh, was eliminated in the quarterfinals, but they're still uh, a powerhouse team, powerhouse uh, robot with their side elevator. And I think uh, as the other teams in the top five, they are one of the contenders for the DCMB. And... Um. Our third place in this week is really top 10 teams. 33 39 Bumblebee from Kfar Yona. So, 
So, Bamelb is the most consistent climber in the Israeli, uh, and and they continue their great season and finishes the and as the finals of Israel event four. Um, they have the ability to be an even better game piece scorer, and with enough practice time until the DCMP, um, they totally can make it. Yeah, uh, the the most the strongest thing about Bumblebee is their consistency. They're a consistent climber. They can put uh, the cargo reliably. They have uh, minimal uh, problems, connection issues. But uh, their cycles are a bit longer than the other teams in the top 10. And uh, if they don't improve uh, the, the scoring side of the game from the hatches, from the cargo, uh, they can uh, fall a bit when the competition will be harder, when there will be uh, a lot more uh, climbers. So, And we know Bumblebee can deliver and be one of those top-level robots. So, our second place this week is 43, 38 Falcons from Evan Yehuda. So, Falcons, definitely the biggest surprise so far in uh, Israel. Uh, they have a very, very good cargo score. They can uh, score around uh, seven, eight uh, cargoes a game. They can climb to level to second level and the third level. They're a great robot, very reliable, and uh, after winning the first event, they came finalist this event, and uh, if they keep going uh, like this, they this year can be their first uh, appearance in the, the World Championship in Detroit. So hope for them to see them uh, in those levels. And once again, to our first rank this week, it's 1690 Orbit from Binyamina. So, Orbit continue leading our top 10 ranking this week also. Um, besides the regular, it's not so regular, but uh, completing a rocket by them, almost by this, themselves, uh, um, climbing very in a very, very, very consistent way and scoring two hatches to the rocket. They added also this week uh, another auto routine by scoring two hatches into the cargo ship. Uh, they made it successful in their last qualification match and tried to play this routine again in the playoffs, um, but came short in the second hatch. Uh, they dropped it by, by a little bit. I believe they got enough time to tweak it and make it work uh, for the DCMP. Yeah, Orbit just improved from uh, last week's event. They added also a second uh, level climb to make him more uh, flexible, play with uh, the third level climbers, uh, improve their sandstorms, uh, and I think that they continue improve and continue to be one of the strongest robots uh, we see all over the world. So uh, I think after having our top 10 teams, um, let's talk a little bit uh, of a few more teams that will play in the DCMP and what they mention. Uh, who want to start? Roy? Uh, yeah, uh, so I want to talk about uh, a very uh, good team uh, qualified last year to Houston Championship, the 55-54, the Pores from Natania. A very, very uh, good cycler, uh, rank, uh, led the third alliance in the fourth uh, district event. Uh, they can score both hatches and cargo to both uh, the uh, cargo ship and the rocket. Um, the only downside from the robot is the climbing, but I think uh, as we saw last year, they're a very strong, consistent team. Last year, they made a very big jump from the uh, last uh, district event to the district championship. So I accept, expect to see a 
very uh, big climb and they can uh, also be a surprise and play in the late playoffs of uh, the DCMP. I can agree. They, they build a very, very solid robot and we can see them score some hatches and cargoes very consistently uh, every match during the last, last event and they probably will continue to do the same um, in in the DCMP. Um, so uh, uh, another team I, I want to mention is uh, 4586 Primo. Uh, I think they have a great robot this year. Um, a little bit short on the climbing side, they still have some improvements to do over there, but uh, somehow each year they build a, a decent robot and then they play very well in strategy and just play very well and get into some high places. They won the DCMP in uh, 2017 uh, and last year they were, I mean, I, I was afraid to play against them. Um, so they keep being good each year and I just thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, I will add to the list 47-44, the ninjas from Hadera. Um, another Israeli cargo ship specialist. Um, in addition to some teams in the top 10 that special specialize in the cargo ships, the ninjas is another one. As, as them, they can, they are playing the first cycles for scoring cargo into the cargo ship uh, and in addition for that they also have uh, an hatches mechanism and show us some some sc some scoring abilities of hatches especially uh, into the rocket yeah i think it's worth uh, mentioned like in the strategy side that we can see the uh, hatch panel stands become uh, stronger and stronger uh, in Israeli District Event 4. We saw the need in a rocket player also in the playoff matches and not only for the working point in the qualification matches. So I think the cargo specialist might have uh, be difficult to play in the DCMP uh, without a proper uh, rocket uh, robot. Um. Another team I want to shout out is the Spikes 2212. Uh, we already talked about them. A very big difference between the, their first and second event. Um, I hope for them they will continue and play as they finish in the second event and not like the first event. Uh, we talked about the reasons of, of this super, super jump uh, and the the change in the in the quality of the of the robot it's especially the driver that get used to it um if so if they will continue play like this so they got a solid hatches and cargo mechanism um and they can be a dark horse in the dcmp as they were as they were in uh, event three Okay, um, so, so besides them, um, I, I will add, I will add, um, and talk about 56, 54, and uh, 15, 76. Both of them play uh, as, a, as a ramp bot and assist for for robots to climb to level three. Uh, they did it successfully and helped their team in, especially in playoffs, to obtain some some match, winning matches that without the climbing that they were lost. Um, I believe, yeah. in, I, I don't know um, how, it will, how it would be important because in Nokia we got more level three climbers, but in matches without those clubs, especially in qualifications, they can earn the 
the one ranking point of climbing um, with the ramp. Yeah, both uh, Rambots in Israel uh, play uh, usually in the defense, uh, what makes it uh, a bit problematic when the uh, other alliance try to stop them from coming uh, in time for the uh, open the ramp. I think uh, especially Phoenix with a very smart uh, strategy mind in there can uh, be dominant also in the district championship. Um, although they can come short with the amount of climbers uh, we got uh, in the top from the top teams. Yeah, also, don't forget that uh, now that everybody knows they can play defense very well, they won't have to do it as much in the qualifications in the DCMP, and they could focus more on being uh, some score robots uh, other than defense bots. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I think we cover up the teams we, we want to, to talk about them. Um, the DCMP will held in the 2nd until 4th in April here in Israel. Um, so watch, watch Israeli teams playing in, in the highest level um, in the Israeli DCMP. Yeah, I think like uh, all the other areas, uh, we see a very big improvement from the two weeks of the district event to uh, the championships. Uh, the teams now have around uh, two, two and a half weeks to practice, to improve their sandstorm, to improve their drivers, and it can make a very big difference. Uh, I accept to see a lot more uh, unicorn matches, not only from uh, Orbit, not only from uh, Steampunk. I think there are uh, around 10 to 15 teams in Israel that when they play together uh, can fill out a uh, whole rocket. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're going to see it uh, a lot more often. Uh, I'm just looking at the list of the 45 teams that qualified for the DCMP and I mean, they all look great. I don't see one robot over there that I say like, oh, the, they didn't work very well during both events. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a huge competition. Um, so, Itama, let's sum up yeah. for, for tonight. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back after the DCMP, uh, talking toward uh, champs. Um, so, good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, see you next time. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.